Welcome to the Ofi. So big shout out to Antonio Thomas. He suggested me check out Sanji's Pirate Cookbook on blogspot.com. There are three specific recipes that I like to see. The dishes are Ladies Limitless like never before, Takiyaki, Tammy's Delicious Clams, and Lucy's favorite, Meat on the Bone. That would be incredible. The only other recipe I want to see in this feast is the Marine Curry from episode 133. You'll have to check it out and it wouldn't be a pirate feast without a little beer. Guys, I didn't get the beer though. The only thing you'll also got to have is cotton candy. You're awesome, Quan. I can't wait to see your twist and take on all this. Keep up the great work. I always watch your videos from Antonio Thomas. So big shout out to you, my friend. This old feast is called the One Piece Feast. So if you guys are not familiar with the anime One Piece, this might seem a little confusing to you, but it is kind of like Japanese-based cuisine here. One thing, Antonio, I looked at the recipe or the website that you sent me. Um, here's one thing I don't like doing, following recipes. I hate following rules. I hate following rules when I cook. So I'm gonna do my twist, my take on a One Piece Feast. Don't blink the Japanese curry. So to this big pot of pan here, I got two tablespoons of olive oil here. I got three pounds of chopped beef here. One tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of pepper. Once I've got them nice and brown, one cup of onions going in, one tablespoon of garlic. I got it nice and sauteed into my instant pot. So I got two liters of water here, four potatoes and four carrots going in, a liter of beef stock. And I got one package of Japanese instant curry blocks. So I'm just gonna Pop them in. Throw in your lid, and we're gonna cook this for about 40 minutes, guys. Takoyaki batter. So I got two cups of flour here, one package of bonito flavoring, three teaspoons of bacon powder. One, two, three. Guess to make that. Three eggs. Two and a half cups of water. Half a cup of green onion. A tablespoon of this red pickled ginger. Whisk that in. So I'm just gonna leave this to the side till the end because I don't want to cook it up right now because I feel like it will deflate when I cook it. Next, Luffy's favorite, meat on a stick. So I got four pounds of ground pork here. Got one, two, three, four. Four loaves or four slices here. I'm just gonna rip it in. and do half a cup of milk onto this bread here. One crack egg. Two tablespoons of paprika or a little more guys because I love paprika, okay? Don't judge, okay? <laughs> I don't know, I keep saying that and people are all just like, oh. More than one tablespoon, Quad. Yeah, I said I said it. I love paprika, so I'm adding a little more, guys. All right, half a tablespoon ground thyme, one tablespoon of chili powder, half a tablespoon of white pepper, one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, half a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of dry basil, half a tablespoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, one tablespoon of salt, half a tablespoon of black pepper. And nothing to it, guys. Take that beautiful clean hand of yours. Mix this all in. Mix this all in very well. Once you got that nice mix, take out your bone. Big meatloaf around this bone here. Cause who doesn't like meatloaf? Who doesn't like meatloaf, guys? Everybody loves meatloaf, right? Everybody loves meatloaf. Luffy's meat on a stick complete. So oven's preheated at 420. Second rack from the bottom. I'm gonna toss this in for about 55 minutes to one hour. Next, I want a glaze on the Luffy's meat on a stick. So I got a cup of ketchup going in, a spoon of Worcester sauce, a tablespoon of paprika, a tablespoon of brown sugar. Cook this all in. 40 minutes in guys. I'm gonna check this just because I feel like it's done. I'm gonna press on it and that's how I know it's done. <laughs> when it feels nice and firm, I think it's done guys. So take my glaze, glaze this beautiful sauce on top. And I'll just let gravity do its magic guys. 45 minutes up guys. Our curry's complete. Ah, yeah. It's a little watery, so I gotta cook this down. But the meat, guys, is nice and soft. So soft. Curry back into a pot here. I got a third cup of flour here to a third cup of water. Mixed in, guys. There it is, guys. This is my desire liking of thickness. So if you guys want more thicker, throw a little more flour. I like it this way, guys. All right? Don't judge me, okay? <laughs> Next, takoyaki. So I got my cupcake or baby pop cake mixer or cake cooker here. <laughs> so I'm gonna do olive oil. I'm gonna take my batter, guys. Low key, I did it behind your guys' back just because I wanna finish early, okay? <laughs> Get off my case. <laughs> I got some octopus here. One piece in each. Octopus in, close it down. Wait, one more. Then we close it down. Once it cooked, guys, it comes out like this. I'm only gonna do cheat a bit. Take my scissors, and I'm gonna cut these out. Guys, yes, I know it's not tradition, but I have no time, guys, no time to sit there and turn these. And it doesn't come out right when I turn them. 
I don't have the gentle hand. Last but not least, Cammy's Delicious Clams. Only one problem, guys. No clams. Shout out to New Zealand. Guys, I know you guys have been waiting. I did not forget about you Kiwis. <laughs> Your feast is coming this week, guys. I promise you. So, to this delicious clams. My little twist on it. I got a tablespoon of butter melting away here. One tablespoon of garlic. One cup of chopped onions. A tablespoon of flour going in. I'm gonna cook this flour in with the butter and all the beautiful onions there. That nice and cooked. One cup of chicken stock, low sodium. One cup of heavy whipping cream. Two tablespoons of white wine. It boils up. Got two pounds of New Zealand mussels here. Shout out to New Zealand's again. Half a tablespoon of salt. A teaspoon of white pepper. Once it thickens up nicely like this, are we gonna do? Take Cammy's beautiful mussels. Throw into our plate here. Last few touches on this. Fresh Italian parsley. Next, our curry. So I got some rice here. Some cow rolls rice to be exact. I'm just gonna put some on one side. Take my curry. All right, I'm gonna say it again, guys. If you want it more thicker, throw more flour into it. For me, guys, this is perfect. Perfect consistency for me. Don't come at me with that, all right? <laughs> miss me with that. Just miss me with that. Hey, hey, hey. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> I know you're gonna type it. I don't wanna hear it. Hey, hey, hey. I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I just don't wanna hear it. Last few touches on this rice. I got this right here. It's called Japanese rice seasoning. Of course, it's not called Japanese rice seasoning. <laughs> I'm making things up. It's called Yasai Fumi Furukaki. <laughs> sorry guys, I'm so bad. I apologize. Shout out to Japan, I'm sorry guys. I mispronounce a lot of things, all right? I apologize. If you like, come on, just Google it. Guys, I have no time to Google it right now, all right? <laughs> So it's just rice seasoning, and I'm just gonna put it on top. Next, takoyaki. So I got the takoyaki sauce here. I'm just gonna do a fancy design here. And I'm gonna charge you a hundred dollars more just because I did that. <laughs> <laughs> Pay up, guys. All right. My takoyaki. Not your best takoyaki, but I know it's still gonna be delicious. Next, I got some baby mayonnaise or Japanese mayonnaise. I don't know why I keep calling it baby mayonnaise, but I put it in this thing right here because it has a thinner nozzle. But I don't know why I keep calling it baby mayonnaise. Oh yeah, because there's a baby on it, that's why. <laughs> so I'm just gonna drizzle this on there. That's an extra $50 because of that design. I'll push you guys closer so you guys see the detail on why I'm charging you guys $150 for this. <laughs> Fried tempura. I low key cooked this in the back and didn't show you guys the recipe. Rice seasoning again. Just a tad, not so much. Red pickled ginger on the side here. Bonito or dry bonito shavings on top of this. There it is. And just the whole bag, why not? It's $150, right? <laughs> Lastly, the main event. Luffy's meat, meat on a stick, or meat on a bone. Where should I put it? Just like this. Got some pea shoots here. Last bit of it, I got Chopper's favorite food here. Beautiful cotton candy. So I couldn't make my own cotton candy because I don't have the machine. <laughs> and just, I don't, I don't have the machine. <laughs> Maybe I should look for it, all right? So, this cotton candy will do this. There it is, guys. Your one piece face complete. So we got our Luffy meat on a stick. The best meat on a stick you ever bite into, I promise you. Ladies, never ending before. Is it never ending before? Takoyaki. Then we got choppers, cotton candy, 
Maureen Curry. Last but not least, Cammies. Delicious clams. Or we have here, delicious mussels. Come through, guys. First off, tag your anime friend or tag your anime fan base. One Piece fan. Does that make sense? Yeah, let's get into this. <laughs> Alright, here it is. Take the first bite of this. Luffy's meat on a stick or on a bone. Quick time, guys. That's got it. Nice. I'll have to try this because the marrow, guys, the fat on this marrow melted into this meat here. I'm pumped for this. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. It's like a very beautiful loaf of good meatloaf. <laughs> mm. Mm. Look at that. Perfectly cooked. On the website, guys, it said chicken. But when I Google Luffy's meat or meat bone, the meat bone looked like beef. It didn't look like chicken. Mmm. <laughs> I'm scared it's not done. But it is done. Ah. Let me get some paper. Alright. The marine, this one I'm pumped for guys, the marine curry here. All right, let me tell you a story about this curry here. First time I ever had Japanese curry, it was, was in grade two. I think it was grade two. My teacher loved me. I don't know why she loved me, but she loved me. Everything I did, she loved me. Oh yeah, I think she loved me because I didn't talk for four or five years in elementary. But here, guys, take your first bite of this first. Quick time. Let's got it, nice. Pump for this. Mm. The kale rolls rice. Let's go. Yes. Mmm. 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 -mm. Next time you guys make something, choose kale rolls rice. Mmm. The grains or the different kind of grains, guys. Mmm. And change your whole dish up. I love Japanese curry with rice, to be exact. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. A bit more. First time I had Japanese curry was in grade, did I say grade two or grade four? It doesn't matter, two or four. My teacher came back on a vacation from Japan and she loved it. She loved Japan. Like she adored Japan. When she got back, um, I don't know what she brought in. I think it was like one of the, I think it was like a steam cooker or something. But she brought it in and I was so surprised on what she was cooking. I thought she was only cooking for herself, for lunch or whatever. But she cooked Japanese curry for the whole class. I was so pumped up for it. And that was the story, guys. Takayaki time! I know this might be a little cold, but it's still all good. I'm gonna get some ones with the mayonnaise, guys. I'll give you guys some mayonnaise on that. I right, there's mayonnaise on this. Guys, another bite of this. Takoyaki. That's got it. Nice. Pump for this. Mm hmm. A little ginger. Nice. Mm hmm. You know what? I'll just grab this piece. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll try and get some more mayonnaise, guys. I should 
should get some more minis, but you know it's okay. It's a little easy to stand up right now. Mm, 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 mm. All right, the clams or the mussels. Cammy's delicious mussels or clams. Like that. That's got nice pump for this. Oh yeah. New Zealand, New Zealand. I've been eating you guys mussels for quite a long time. I want to say you guys are the most patient people ever. <laughs> I got that feast coming, guys. I got a bowl up coming for you guys. Mm. What else? New Zealand meat pie. What else? Mm. Let me ask you guys this. Shout out to New Zealanders or the Kiwis out there. How do you guys eat your New Zealand mussels? That's my question. Someone told me that I eat it raw. Mm. I don't think it'd be that delicious if I eat it raw. Just because it's frozen. I think if I get it fresh, I would love to try it raw, but not frozen. Mm, 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 mm. Alright, next. <laughs> Let's try this. The cotton candy. <laughs> Quick time, guys. Just got it. Nice. I haven't had cotton candy when I was young, guys. Let me tell you a story about it. <laughs> my, my stories are pretty bad, guys. <laughs> there's no, there's no good, there's no, there's no starting point or ending point. <laughs> Mmm! Pure sugar. <laughs> pure, pure sugar. But it's delicious though. I never knew the blue flavor was blueberry. Back when I was younger, I think it was just pure sugar. But this one has a good flavor to it. That's blueberry. I don't know what this is. Mmm! They all have a different flavor to it. Okay. Last time I ate this when I was young, it was in a flea market. I still remember it. Every time we walked past this um, section of the flea market, I was pointing at it and my mom was got me at. And there's always a blue one and a pink one. And the blue one and the pink one taste exactly the same, but this one tastes different. But I never seen the yellow one. That's an awesome thing. The yellow tastes like Mmm, banana. That is sweet. That is very sweet. Just a bit more of this curry here, just because my family's coming by. And I want them to have some nice, beautiful this right here. Look at this. The most tenderest piece ever. Mmm, you guys see that? This is love. Mmm. 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 Mm.
You know what I want to start doing, guys? Mmm. Hosting. I ain't gonna lie. I think I'll be the best host in the world. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't worry guys, I'll cut it off when my family comes. The only thing now guys, when I do start hosting, I gotta find more friends. <laughs> Straight up. Is or three people, mm -hmm. four people, four people that's okay to be camera or be on camera. All right? Who wants to be my friend? <laughs> mm. I need more friends. <laughs> That's a cry laugh right there. <laughs> now, I think in life, guys, when you grow older, you only need a few good friends. Go, go. You don't need 10. You don't need 20. One, two, four. It's okay. That's all you need. If you guys don't have any friends, I'll be your friend. When you're my friend, you can come over anytime to come through. <laughs> Food and life is such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? Such a beautiful thing. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to go on your Food and Life's Beautiful Thing shirt. All right, pop one, like, share this. You're such a shaggy dog. You gotta get up sometimes, kitty. You can't sleep your life away, kitty. You can't sleep your life away, kitty. <laughs> Are you so tired? Mm. Get up, kitty. Get up. Get up, kitty. Yes, love. Peace out. <laughs>